Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind this reading is for any Taurus placement you want to check in on, including but not limited to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. Maybe you want to take a look at the astrological natal house that your Taurus is in. It doesn't matter, you are welcome here, as are the cross watchers. So with all that in mind, let's get into it. But also keep in mind, if you happen to see this reading after the third week of July, 2022, that's okay. It just means you were meant to hear this message at a later time. All right, spiritual team. What is the overall energy for the next seven days for my Tauruses? What is the overall energy for the next seven days for my Tauruses? Let's see. see oh I love that we have abundance okay and at the bottom of the deck we have flow let it flow let it come to you you are a money magnet hey absolutely love this for you guys so far let's get into the tarot and see what else you need to know spiritual team what messages do you have for my Tauruses for the next seven days what messages do you have for my Tauruses for the next seven days? Let's see. Okay. All right. We have the Three of Wands reversed, Four of Wands reversed, Seven of Swords reversed, Tower reversed, and at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Cups. All right. Not what I was expecting. I'm going to be real honest. Mm-hmm. All right, let's take a look at what is at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups here, Lovers Reversed, Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Okay. This week is a week of action for you guys, especially with this Ace of Wands being here. Um, it looks like there may have been some stress over a decision of some kind. I think that has been coming up for you guys over the last couple of weeks, learning to let something go, move on from a person, place, or situation. I feel like you guys may still be kind of dealing with that. Um, and it feels like the decision has been put off for some time, but I feel like once you can kind of break through that anxiety, worry, or fear is when the magic starts to happen. All right, this Queen of Cups, this could be another person, doesn't have to be, but maybe you have um, strong water in your chart, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, particularly in your moon placement, okay? I'm hearing as long as you follow your intuition and your gut, um, you can't go wrong, right? So a little intuition, a little bit of um, intuitive guidance, and that should kind of take you where it is that you need to go, especially if you have been struggling with making a decision of some kind. Um, maybe that struggle was more so with what are the consequences of each decision and how do I know what is the right fit for me? I will tell you, just going with your gut, trusting yourself, and then putting a plan into action is the first step and usually the right step. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that message there. Maybe I'll pick up some more things later on in the reading, but let's get into these cards right here. Now, everything is in the reverse, but I feel like this was a lot of, this is talking about where you have been more so than where you are going. Okay. So right off the bat with the Three of Wands and the Four of Wands reversed, this tells me that there has probably been a lot of um, discord or just instability in, um, in your life, particularly like in your home life. So where you live, maybe who you live with has been a little tumultuous lately. Um, and so you, as a result of that part of your life being unstable, you internally have felt unstable and it's resulted in affecting other areas of your life and more than likely affecting your finances or your abundance. Okay. 
Now the seven of swords reversed, I typically like to see in the reverse. Um, this talks about revealing things that have been hidden, seeing the truth, seeing the reality, right? So whether this is something that you have been denying yourself internally, or this is something that someone has hidden from you, whatever it feels like, there's a truth being revealed here for you. Okay, so maybe this is seeing past your own limiting beliefs, starting to understand like how you've gotten in your own way up to this point regarding the situation, or this could be finally seeing the truth or hearing the truth from someone who wasn't completely upfront and honest with you about their intentions, their actions, so on and so forth. Whatever the case is, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Okay, you know what's going to be a, a match for you um, in terms of your own personal life, your own personal story. And what I also love to see here is the tower in reverse, okay? The tower in reverse means that the tower either has already fallen or someone has been avoiding this tower moment, right? So for some of you, that can kind of go back to avoiding this decision, avoiding um, having to start all over again. But what I also see is that once you kind of get the truth of a situation or get the truth of the matter here, whether that's an internal thing or an external thing, you can start to rebuild once this tower has crumbled and fallen to the ground. It's now a rebuilding process. And now you can let the abundance flow in properly the way that it needs to. And now that everything that had an unstable foundation has crumbled away, you can build it stronger and better. Oh, powerful. Hopefully that is resonating for you guys. Um, that's really all I'm seeing with this message. I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, so leave a like and a comment if this is resonating for you. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the final deck of the reading. Now keep in mind with this deck that whatever comes up could be related to what it is that we've been talking about with the tarot, or it could be unrelated. It's just additional things you need to know for the next seven days. All right, spiritual team, what additional messages do you have for my Tauruses for the next seven days? What additional messages do you have for my Tauruses for the next seven days? What additional messages do you have for my Tauruses for the next seven days? All right, let's see. That second half of the deck was really popping. Okay. So the first card that came out was the goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. I definitely get that, both of it, um, for you guys, particularly with this Queen of Cups, trusting your intuition and acting on that um, spiritual uh, intellect, I guess we could call it. You know, it's not rooted in reality, but we just have that feeling like we know what we're supposed to do or we know what is right for us. Okay, and I definitely feel like that kind of ties in trusting your intuition to help improve your physical life, your physical world. All right, we also have the bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Okay, so this is talking about these blockages here, whether this is from someone outside of yourself or, you know, relating to the blockages that we put on ourselves sometimes. Um, Spirit is saying, don't run from these, face them. Face them, look at them head on, take them on and deal with them so that way you can move past them and improve your life and start to let everything flow to you naturally. We also have the firecracker, excitement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there could be some exciting news, some exciting events taking place for you this week. Maybe it's ex exciting in terms of like the breakthrough that you're having and the ability to start putting things back together and moving things forward the way that you want to. Could talk about other things, again, different messages for different people, but it definitely feels like there is some sort of excitement happening for you this week. All right, we also have the Astral House of Marriage. Okay, so for some of you, this is relating to a marriage um, or a relationship that feels like a marriage. Again, um, I know everyone has different views and ideas when it comes to that institution, so I don't want to just limit you guys to only people who are in the original or traditional sense of a marriage, you know, you can be in a relationship that's not a traditional marriage, but it feels like one. Um, we also have the field, uh, the, f the field, I cannot talk, <laughs> the filled chair. Someone new is entering your life. 
I think you guys got this last week too. Maybe I'm mistaken. But it feels like whatever it is, again, whatever foundation you are kind of rebuilding here with that, you could be attracting new people into your life that are supposed to help you move forward in the direction that you need to go to achieve what it is you want to achieve. Let's take a look at the bottom of the decks here. We have the month of July on this half. So this is telling me that this is all happening for you immediately, currently. Maybe you even have some strong uh, Cancer or Leo placements. If you do, I would definitely check out those readings as well. Um, but this just tells me like this is going to be an exciting month for you. This is going to be an active month for you in terms of this particular situation. At the bottom of this half of the deck, we have the box. You will receive a gift. Okay, now it doesn't have to be a physical gift. It could be, I don't know, um, a piece of advice. Maybe it's a compliment. Okay, it doesn't have to always be something physical in our physical world. But you could receive like a little, a little uh, nugget of wisdom that could be really beneficial to you moving forward. But Tauruses, that is what I'm seeing for you guys this week. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this reading. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you want to see more content from me, I am on Instagram, TikTok, and I also have a blog. All that info is below in the description box, um, as is my website if you want to schedule a personal reading with me. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!